How's it going guys? In this video I'll show how you can flash TWRP, aka Team Win Recovery Project into your Samsung tab or mobile device. First you need a software called Odin, which helps us flashing recovery in Samsung devices. Second you need to have a TWRP image file. You can find the download link in the description. So, guys let's get started with our tutorial. As you can see, I've downloaded both Odin software and TWRP image file. Now you may go into Odin folder and launch Odin software. You'll see a warning like this just close it and proceed. This is just to say that flashing any unknown image file may brick your device and make it useless unless you flash a working operating system. Now click on the tab containing the letters AP. Then a tab will open where you have to select the TWRP image file. This will replace the existing recovery with TWRP. Now reboot your Samsung device into download mode by turning it off then turning on by holding volume down button, power button, and the home button at the same time. Then press volume up button to continue. Now connect your device with a USB cable. Make sure you connect it properly and there is no loose connection. Check your computer whether the Odin says the device is added or not, if not then you have no driver installed for Samsung devices. You should check the driver for Samsung in the description. Now click start to begin flashing. Wait for Odin to display pass in the top left corner. If you get the message as pass your device will reboot by itself. The first boot might take a bit longer than usual. Once it's booted to the system now try going to the recovery mode by powering off and turning on by pressing volume up button, power button, and the home button. While booting into recovery you will see this, this says it's running TeamWin Recovery Project version 3.0.2. Just swipe and allow the modifications. In settings you can choose the time format set time and set the brightness of the screen too. In some mobile devices with thermal sensor in CPU it can give you the temperature of the CPU in top left corner. You may also set the vibration to zero in order to avoid vibration during selection. In reboot option you will have options like boot into system, recovery, download, and power off. So that's it guys hope this video helped you. Give this a like comment and share. If you are new spare some time to subscribe. And, thank you for watching.